Hello YouTube. This is another Friday Eve video and we've got a few things to do up at the mill here so we're going to do some maintenance today. Uh, first thing we're going to sharpen up the saw blade and I'll show a little bit of that. that. That's a very boring thing to watch. Someday I'll get a little bit more in depth of uh, how the teeth actually work. I, I did a couple videos of changing the teeth out. Um, a few other little, you know, things about the saw blade. Um, the log deck chains, they haven't been oiled since uh, fall, so we're going to get on the, the log deck chains and get them done. Uh, some people had commented on the edger, how do you get your board thicknesses set here? So I'm going to show you, these numbers right here run the outer saw. So if I want a 6 inch wide or just say 8 inch wide board, I set that on 8. Now this fence here, if you can see that white line, that indicates where the saw is going to be cutting. I put down on for a visual. When that fence is down, it buries that uh, second saw blade. When this fence is up, that saw blade will take up the four inches off if you want to take off bark on both sides. So up in the saw itself, and I'm gonna I'm gonna do I'm gonna do like a John Clark here. I'm gonna put you on the holder here. And I don't know if you'll be able to see that or not. It's a, we're a little bit in the shade here. But if you see the two saw blades, this saw blade right here is fixed. This saw blade here is going to be the one to move. So I'm going to go back on the handle here. And we're going to take it from 8 inches. And we're going to go to a 12 inch wide board. And now it's set at 12. Now we're going to come back to our 8. We're going to go to a 6 inch wide board. And we can take it all the way down to a 4 inch board. That's, that's the narrowest we can go on this edger. And the, the furthest up we can go is like, uh, I believe it's like 15, 15 inches, something like that. Um, but that is the gist of how this edger works. Um, we also put some fuel in the edger tonight. I put another five gallon in the loader. Um, and also I had, uh, just for curiosity's sake, I put that red line on, on the deck here, and that's right at the edge of the building. Oh yeah, there's the flag tangled up. That's a good good thing to show. Um, and from this point here to this point here is, uh, I think it was 69 inches. And um, the forks on this are at four foot. The, the grapple does stick out a little bit further, but about right where you see them two cants laying on there, you're never going to be that far into the deck anyway. Uh, very seldom do you ever bury the forks back that deep. But I would still have nine inches to spare before I would put a hole in the building. And there's no reason to pull up on this deck any further than what the end of the strands are. I mean, there's the, the, the chains move the logs in. We're not trying to get the logs all the way down with the machine. So when we're loading logs, we have the bus motor running and we, we always run them up with the chains because you don't want to start pushing on them because other bad things will happen. But uh, And then the log pile over there, we're going to have to get in there and sort out some uh, logs. We need some, uh, we need some 10 footers for Saturday. And uh, I do got some people interested in this uh, one by that we sawed up Saturday, so I, I think I have some takers on that. So if this works out, you're going to see us sawing a lot of one by just to get rid of that big pile over there. There's there's got to be five thousand feet of spruce and pine, maybe more than that over there, maybe closer to eight or ten thousand feet. So, all right, let's get started, and I'll talk to you here in a bit. All right, we're going to sharpen up the blade here. So basically, we're just going to go tooth to tooth. It's going to take all that long if you... Get her set up. Then there's a dressing stick. Basically, it cleans the diamond. And that takes all the carbide out of the diamond. So... But it was getting due for sharpening last time we solved with that spruce, so we got a lot more spruce to cut here. So we'll just 
just work our way around the blade here. And then we're going to oil up the chain on the log bench. Alright, the next thing, the next thing I want to do here is we oil up our chains. And I like to do this so a few times a year. And all I do is we're just using just our used oil. messy but uh, it sure saves the life of that uh, steel underneath of that chain I used to use bar oil but it, it was hard to it was hard to get the bar oil to really flow down in this here at least will go down in This was the old oil out of the bus motor. And I put a little orange mark on the chain so I know when they've been around one time. I mean, you can sort of see the oil on them, but... There's a lot of chain on this. And this little puddle it creates actually helps because every time it comes up around it drags a little bit with it. But we never knew how good a live deck was until we didn't have one for 26 years. And boy do I appreciate this live deck. don't take very long for it to come around one time here comes the orange line back up around we're almost there Got to do maintenance if you want to own a piece of equipment. Okay, that's one chain done, and we'll jump over to this one. You don't have to put a ton on them. But it is 57 degrees out here today. Uh, we're calling this our Friday Eve. But it's actually or Wednesday, so... This will air on Friday Eve. So we got a good sharp blade now. Our chain will be nice and oiled up. And life is good. Oh, by the way, I took a measurement on the forks. And if them forks were all the way in, we would still have nine more inches before we poke a hole in the building. And we never ran that old forklift in further than about a foot or two just to dump the logs on. So I'm not remodifying this building for... Uh, nine inches worst case scenario we put a stop block out there stop the wheels I'm not concerned about it but I think 50 people were thank you for being concerned but we're not total idiots We will 
will be saw on Saturday morning. So we got a couple more orders, uh, more pellet wood from that same company. And it looks like the one by eights on Craigslist are gonna take off. So we might be cutting a lot of one by material, which is good. Then once I'm done here, I'll get a rag, I'll wipe up all the excess. Anybody's concerned about the oil. Okay, we've been around once on this, once on that one, so I'm gonna let you go here and I'll talk to you here in a minute. Okay, I got some logs dug out of that pile, so it was nice and dry in there actually. But um, yeah, we're gonna make a bunch more two before's for the uh, for that uh, pellet stock so uh once we get that roll in there we'll, we'll go ahead and get this stuff sawed up and a bunch more sheeting so okay i hope everybody enjoyed our little friday eve video um just want to put something on there just to show you what we do during the week uh, after work the mill doesn't run itself there's always maintenance to do so i will see you at the mill with the eddie horvath on saturday morning so everybody have a great friday i'll talk to you on saturday bye-bye